Hey everyone, I am working on a little series for the X-Carve Pro by Inventables. We've got a 4x4 cut area. I made a vacuum table with a single uh, zone for now. I'm planning on making a four port zone, but right now the single zone is right here. Um, just for ease of use and because of materials. I've got my MDF waste board on top. It, the vacuum table will draw through this MDF top, no problem. And I am now working on getting G Sender set up and running the X Carve Pro here. And it is pretty nice. I like the 45 degree functionality here. One of the big things for getting this to work with the X-Carve Pro, you got to cruise up here to the settings tab. You got to drop over here to the baud rate right here on the top. You can't do it while your machine is connected, but you have to change it to the 57,600 baud rate. Once you do that, your COM port, I'll just disconnect it, it'll show Gerbil at 57,600. 57,600 and it connects everything goes green tell it to home the machine it's gonna work on running that homing pro program right now it does move slow when you're home in the X-Carf Pro if you try doing this while it's set on the 115,000 baud rate it will not connect none of this will light up none of the homing will show up uh, but it will say that it's connected. It just won't actually connect to the machine for sure. So this was really far away when I told it to home. So it's going to drive really slow. But it does have limit switches. So the Z axis just came over to, to or the X axis just came over and hit the limit switch here. Now we're driving forward. We'll catch the limit switch here. And because I was surfacing my waste board, I have a big surfacing bit, but this little um, cover that I put on the dust boot was really, originally really large. And by putting this on there, it made the dust um, collection a lot better. The Z axis was already maxed out, so that's all done. We're now homed. And it's gonna be right over this corner right here. That's my zero, zero. And one of the things I'm looking forward to with the G-Sender program is their uh, Z-Probe setup. So once I get that, I'll do another little video on how to connect that to the X-Carve Pro. I did not do anything else to the X-Carve setup. I'm still using all the Inventables. You know, this still turns my machine, just, just disconnected it from the computer. All that's still in place. I had this off because I had a failed um, limit switch over here, so I had to had to do a little quick replacement. So I threw that on. So right here, machine is disconnected. I'm going to tell it to connect. Everything lights up. Tells me, hey, I got to do a homing. Tells me there's an alarm. So I'll click the homing again, and since I'm right there in the corner, it'll be fast. And then all of this will light up and be ready to rock and roll. And there it is. And so the Z is set at a positive 4.6 and a half inches, 4.65 inches, because um, it's in the positive up position right now. If I zero all, then that thinks that it's at the zero point. So I'll rehome it. And that'll put it back at that 4.65 over here. Oh, maybe it didn't. 
But I really like this uh, G Sender program. It gives you a lot of variabilities. You can move the Z up and down, rapid, normal, precise. You can move your X, Y. Um, but then it gives you these 45 degree options, which I find really great because I can just quickly move the machine across. And one of the things that's nice that doesn't happen with the inventable software. So if I do one push of the button, it moves one time, just like in inventables. If I click and hold, it actually moves the machine. Whereas in inventables, if I click and hold, it only moves one step and that's it. Uh, so there's going to be some really nice features, I think. And there's tons of options here. Um, when you come into the settings where you can do a lot of different stuff, you can program events, you can do some shortcuts. Um, it says you can set up an Xbox controller, which I haven't done yet. Um, which I have one here plugged into the computer. I just haven't figured out how to uh, activate it yet. So I'm going to work on that, but I'm excited about all this stuff. This is a pretty cool program and I'm pretty hopeful for making this work. Uh, big thing, this is the G sender. It's not going to be a uh, CAD cam software. You're going to still do all your G code in some other program. You're going to load your file here and the file you load needs to be an actual G code file. Um, you know, that's, that's the big thing. So if you're using inventables, you can export your G code. When you jump into projects, I can come up into the machine. And download the G code right here for this file. And that's what I would need to upload into the G sender. Um, so that's if you need, if you already have some stuff that you've done in inventables and you want to get these carves off of inventables and saved for the G sender, you're going to need to download the G code itself. Um, otherwise, if you're using uh, Vetric or some other software like fusion 360 and you're making all your motion controls in that program, you should be able to export your G code directly for G sender. So, I'm pretty excited. This is all new for me. So this is just a quick update of what I got going on and keep an eye out for more. Thanks for watching.